So we've been pretty lucky here in Minnesota, at least this summer, not seeing a ton of severe weather damage so far, but we are still in severe weather season, and it's very important to be prepared for the unexpected. Kristen Meehan and Lindsay Uselding are the hosts of the new, uh, newest HGTV show, Renovation 911, and they've responded to more than a thousand storm-related uh, severe weather uh, uh, damages and, and uh, I guess, jobs in your, you I, I guess, in, the, in their business. And they're here to tell us uh, about a kit that you guys should, uh, that everyone should have in yes. your house. So Kirsten and I have responded to thousands of emergencies and mm -hmm. a lot of those emergencies are due to severe weather. Mm -hmm. um, so lightning strikes, major, you know, storm damage, tree falls on a house. So when we see our clients really at their worst, um, it's hard. And that's why we started a new business called Practical Home. Mm -hmm. And it's all about prevention. So how do we kind of have these conversations before these disasters strike so we feel ready? The first Great. thing we have is an emergency plan. Exactly. So these are fully customizable. They're on our website, practicalhome.com. So yours is going to be different than ours, mm -hmm. you know, than anyone else's. So you go on our website and you just fill in, you know, the different quadrants. So mm -hmm. your address, obviously, if something really intense is happening, your kids may not remember their address, especially if they're young. And then where are the exits? Where are you going to meet? It, it just kind of starts the conversation with your kids, with your family. To, and then it ships directly to your house. It's super cute. You display it in a really common area, and um, yeah, then you have a plan. I suppose, right? And that's the first step, right, is to have a plan to be prepared. This is what happens before the storm gets here. Uh, what about uh, during a storm? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. So on the other side, we have a tornado preparedness plan, mm -hmm. um, and that is just kind of talks through the steps of what to do. So, you know, staying alert. We have great meteorologists here at CARE 11, Ooh. and, um, you know, just stay informed, seek shelter, especially if it's a warning, right? Mm -hmm. um, interior room if you don't have a basement or down in the basement um staff essentials which we have here and then just stay connected you know when there is a severe warning your family you know may want to know that you're okay mm -hmm. yeah can and you, so can you we, give us an example of like uh what would you have in an emergency kit you got it so that's what we've got on the table here so we have uh we suggest having a bag that you have all of this in and mm -hmm. you just have it at the ready because when you're in an emergency, you're not gonna be running around grabbing no. all this. You want it ready and handy. So, you know, some water, some snacks, obviously a flashlight with mm -hmm. batteries, even a candle and matches is great, but the first thing to go out is your electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, charging cord, you know, with a charging block if the emergency goes out, and also some games, you I know? I just saw that, that's a great idea, because yeah. who knows how long you're gonna be down there, right? Exactly. Right, you wanna keep the kids, you know, Entertained. entertained. <laughs> yeah, um, their, fo their attention focused elsewhere, uh -huh. right? You exactly, and you probably want to keep them off technology to save your mm -hmm. batteries, especially if your electricity went out. Um, and then snacks are always mm -hmm. a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just keeping people busy is really in their minds off of what's happening to try to keep everybody calm. Sure, so let's say the storm passes. Yes. Uh, there was some damage done. What happens after the storm? Uh, that's where our Ungerman comes into play. Mm -hmm. So um, the first thing you do is really make sure that it's safe outside. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If you've got a tree you know, on your front door, don't go out that door, um, but make sure it's safe. Walk around your property, inspect it for damage. And if you see damage, that's where you partner with your insurance company to determine if you should file a claim. Okay, great. I'd also recommend in the uh, emergency kit a pair of shoes because you never know if there's going to be like broken glass or anything. That's like exactly that. right. Uh, you know? I love it. You yeah. don't know how many people. What a great tip. When we come to their homes, and a lot of times the kids have left the house in bare feet. Yeah. Mm. Especially yeah. in the middle of winter. So all right. keep that in mind. These are all great tips, guys. Uh, thank you so much. And if you don't have an emergency kit plan, you should get one. And you can find these at practicalhome.com. Uh, yep. Is that right? It. Awesome. We have a link. Uh, and all of their social channels uh, at care11.com. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for this having us. This is awesome. Uh, so 